Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on what is their karma for hurting you, whoever has hurt you in the past. This one is based a lot on um, abuse and forms of abuse. So the people who have abused you in the past, what is their karma? And if you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It not only helps the channel to grow, but it also helps to spread these messages around to other people who may be able to use them as well. And remember that this is an anonymous place to leave a comment, so let us know what's going on in your story in the comments below. If somebody else has been through the same thing, they may be able to help you, or you may even help them with what you have to say as well. So make sure that you do that. And I really do enjoy hearing what you guys have to say about these things as well. So we have three piles. Pile one, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self. And we are going to get started with pile one. So for pile one, let's see. Got that, got that, got that, got that, and got this. <laughs> First, we're going to start with this message here we have who are you really what do you want to be are you free or just projecting man in the mirror it's a really good song by uh, little Wayne what is no longer serving you it's mirrored the more you hold on the harder it will be we have done everything we can sometimes it is time to let go when one door closes another opens times Time for a new journey, you ready? Don't fight the transition. Time to see what's real. Maybe a look in the mirror? Everything is shifting. Remember, hurt people hurt people. Are you hurt? What do others see when they look at or when they look at me? Is that what really is truly important? There will always be haters. Give them something real to hate on. So it's time to step into your power. It's time to give people something that is actually truly authentically you to hate on instead of having everybody hate on you for other crap. And also to look inside and see what is not healed within you and how it could be projecting onto others around you and how it might be affecting the relationships you have in your life right now. and how you can heal to bring about different results in situations going on around you. Because whoever hurt you here has left some lasting impactful scars that may be causing some issues in the relationships you have right now in your life. So we're gonna look at the types of abuse that you could have went through. Physical overpowering. Triggers a fear of not being strong enough to escape fears for life and freedom, makes you feel alone and ashamed, and makes you feel like no one cares. So there has been somebody in your life who has physically overpowered you. They have made you feel alone. They've made you feel vulnerable. They've made you feel weak. They've made you feel like if you say something back to the person in power or the person who is stronger than you, you're going to regret it because they're going to be able to hurt you. Physical abuse. Amazing how that Amazing how that popped out because you know what I did not look at these before I did this reading Physical abuse power was taken with strength feelings of weakness and a need for control. So you may be um, Suffering from a need to control situations and circumstances in your life because of the way that This person was controlling you and was taking your power away and at the same time, when you allow this cycle to continue, instead of walking away, you are giving that power away as well. Bullying target, center stage discrimination made to feel unworthy of life. So you were made to feel like you were not worthy of life, like you didn't matter, like something about you was wrong and didn't fit in. You were made to feel like you were... The Black Sheep. Ooh, that's a really good song too. Black Sheep by, I'm not sure who sings that, but it's like, once you go black, you never go back. I'm a black sheep. That was a really horrible impression of that song, but some songs I'm better at doing that with than other songs. So let's see what we got for our cards here. We have the fox and we have the crocodile. So somebody could have been watching you very intensely, constantly, constantly looking over your shoulder, going through your messages. Uh, they could have even put a tap on your phone. I feel like this pile dealt with a lot of different toxic um 
toxicity from whoever this was. There was a lot of controlling, manipulative, deviousness, constantly watching you, constantly um, picking apart everything you're doing, things like that. I feel like right now it's time to observe and wait and see what happens. I feel like there is somebody who would make a very good life partner around you and I feel like you're somebody who would make a very good life partner as well. But at the moment you may be on the defense instead of receptive and open. So just sit back and wait and watch and see what happens around you and and allow things to unfold the way they're going to unfold. Try not to have a need for control in this situation because I feel like you're on a path to a lot of happiness here. I feel like you really are on this path to a, a lot of happiness here. And as you walk away from this person and their hot and cold, in and out, on and off behaviors, and the spiritual journey you're going on, all the things that you're learning about your true desires, your true wants, your true needs, what would make a good life partner for you, what would really make you happy, and allowing yourself to just be patient and wait for that, and making the decision to leave behind things that are not good for you, and things that are... Um, similar situations is really going to bring about a lot of good results for you there and life partner there really could be somebody right around the corner for you that you're going to be able to make a connection with and I feel like if this person is getting ready to make a connection it may be with a player of some sort also here I feel like they're going to be stuck in a lot of indecision they're not going to be sure what their path or purpose is or where they should be going or what they want and that's because they took your power from you. And so they're going to be feeling like their power is taken from them in some way, I feel like. So why they did this, they are very miserable and miserable. misery loves company. I wanted to reach my full potential and you were in the way. I'm angry at the world and I took it out on you. They felt that they couldn't have happiness while you were happy. So... This person felt like they could not have happiness if you were happy. They felt like you were stealing their happiness just by being you, by being this vibrant, beautiful, bright, shining light in the world. You were stealing their happiness in some way. And so they wanted to be able to reach their own potential. They wanted to be able to follow their own path, and they felt like you were taking that away from them in some way. Not an excuse either, by the way. That's just how they were feeling. I'm angry at the world and I took it out on you. So they took all their anger for everyone else out on you. They took all the stored up anger, hate, energy, misery, everything they were feeling for everyone around you. And they took all of that and they brought it home and they beat it out on you. And that is some messed up shit right there to take all of that out on you. So karma. Thoughts will consume them. Like I was saying, they're going to be stuck and plagued with this indecision. They're not going to know what to do, where to go. No one will want to be associated with them anymore. I feel like a lot of the truth is going to come out. People are seeing, they're watching, and they're seeing things differently. No more free rides. They will have to work very hard. They will face everything they put you through. So this person's really going to have to face everything that they put you through. They are going to have to work their asses off to even find the slightest bit of happiness or joy or contentment or stability in their life because they took so much of your peace away. Advice from spirit. Believe in yourself and your dreams and disregard the haters. Focus elsewhere. Calm your mind and focus on an outcome that serves the best for all involved. Stay on your path and working towards your goals. So stay working towards what you're working on. Stay working towards your goals, your business, your whatever it is that you're working on, your spirituality, things like that. Working on healing and growing and learning and overcoming. Focus on those things and don't focus on this person. Don't give them your time or your energy. Calm your mind bring it to peace, focus on an outcome that serves the best for everybody involved in this situation, and believe in, in what you have going on, and don't worry about whether anybody thinks that you can or can't. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you thought about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated with you, what you've got going on in your situation, and I really hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. <clears throat> pile two so for you guys let's see what we got going on here i'm gonna move these ones and we got 
these ones. And we got these ones and these ones. Put those aside for a minute. First, we're going to start with this. We have Think Simple. Uncover your heart. It seems so complicated, but it's really not. No more self-hate or self-harm. Just go with the flow. Stop the sabotage. Reminder, you need love too. Who are you? Who am I? Can I trust again? We are not promised tomorrow. No one is. No more drowning in the water. Not gonna drown in the water Cause the good Lord had taken me home. It's a good song. Time to swim. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. She never gave up, did she? Even though she never knew what was going on. <laughs> Always do your part. You got this. I'm Still Standing by Elton John. I'm still standing. Dee, 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 dee. Are you what they dictate or what you feel to be true? Trust in you. Believe that you are here for a reason. When is it time for you? It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. So it's time to focus on yourself. It is time to really step into the self-love energy. It's time to open yourself up and trust again. I feel like this person stole a lot of your trust. They stole a lot of your peace. They betrayed you very heavily to the point that you didn't feel like you could trust anyone around you. You were probably very paranoid of everyone around you. And I've been there. So let's see what types of abuse. I knew it. I knew it. I was just going to say something about gaslighting and scapegoating. Oh, and gaslighting by Snow the Product. Great song, too. Always to blame. Apologizes for being self. So quit apologizing for being yourself. Quit feeling like you're always to blame. You're not always to blame. This person may have blamed you and blamed you and blamed you and put all this blame on you. But you are not always to blame. They have their own things that they are responsible for, too. Child of an addict. Drugs or alcohol was most important. Everything else was second place. So you may have been a child of an addict. Somebody that placed whatever their addiction was ahead of your needs, ahead of your wishes, ahead of your desires. Could have even been an ex-partner as well. But you came in second place to everything. To everything. And everything was always your fault instead of their own fault because they couldn't take the blame for their part. I actually had somebody trying to do that again last night. Mental and emotional abuse, fear tactics, manipulation, isolated in fear. So <clears throat> you have been through a lot of mental and emotional abuse from whoever this person is. They used fear tactics to keep you guessing, to keep you isolated, to keep you feeling like you didn't have anybody on your side. They manipulated you. They really just put you through the ringer and this is not okay. This is not an okay way to be. And at the same time, this person is a hurt person hurting people just like you may be yourself right at this moment. So why did they do this? Oh, wait, we're going to go with these first. We got Sea Serpent. We got the Bat. We got the Knave of Swords. We got the Six of Wands. We got the World. And we got omens. So you're seeing a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities, a lot of things are telling you which direction to go and which not to, or which direction to not go. Um, I feel like this person may be going through a lot of fear and paranoia themselves as well. I feel like they could be seeing all kinds of bad signs and things and it's getting them stuck in their head. Um, they may even be sending you bad signs and, and omens and things like that um, because the bat talks about telepathic connections as well. So when you are getting stuck in your head and you're getting stuck on this cycle of um, fear and anxiety and feeling like there's so many bad things coming in, don't stay stuck in that. Know that you're going to receive back what you put out there. And if you're putting good out there, good is going to come back to you. You are ending the cycle of being afraid. You are ending the cycle of being stuck on the past and you are gaining a lot of recognition and a lot of success, a lot of victory because you have climbed, you have kept going and kept going and kept going no matter what you have been through. You have climbed your way out of it. And this person is going to have to watch you get that respect that you deserve, that recognition that you deserve. They're watching you in this cycle of being afraid. They're watching you in this cycle of being stuck in the past and being hurt and controlled. And they are watching you escape this. And they also are going to have to go through very similar things themselves, I'm feeling like, for this pile. So why did they do this? 
I feel the world owes me and I don't want to work for it. So this person feels like the whole world owes them for everything that they do in it and they don't really want to put in the time, effort, or work to achieve victory. And you are somebody who has worked very hard to achieve this victory. They have watched you work really hard to achieve this victory. They may even obsessively stare at you on social media outlets or, or, you know, if they see you out somewhere, they may stare at you. They watch you. They see you doing all these amazing things and getting the recognition for it. They want the recognition, but they don't want to have to put in the effort. They don't feel like they are talented or recognized in their life. And that's because they aren't willing to put in the work though. This person seems like the type of person that isn't willing to put in the work. They just want to blame everything that's going wrong in their life on someone else instead of doing what's right. And and fixing their own life and you're busy doing that they felt like they would somehow get something out of it so this person really felt like um if they hurt you they were going to get your if they could hurt you and keep you down they could take your ideas they could take everything you had to offer and they could put it out there as their own and while everybody's watching you floundering everybody would believe it was theirs instead of yours so don't allow that to happen pain and hardship is all I have ever known survival mode is all I know so this person was just trying to survive they were trying to survive and they were trying to take what you had really that's about what it amounts to so what's coming for them financial instability this person's gonna be suffering a lot on the financial front Illness and hardship comes knocking at their door. Losing important things. Unseen changes will bring balance. So there's going to be some unseen changes that you aren't seeing right now that are going to bring balance to the situation. I feel like you're being shown signs and synchronicities of that. There may even be black cats involved in that. Um, maybe lizards. But... Uh, this person's really going to be losing out on a lot of important things. They're going to be losing things that meant something to them. Maybe they made you lose things that meant something to you. Maybe they stole things from you that meant something to you. And they're going to be losing things themselves that are very important to them. There's going to be illness and hardship that they're going to be facing. And really, all of these all of these changes are going to bring balance to the situation. It's going to balance it out karmically. It's going to allow them to see what they have put you through. And it's going to allow them to follow your lead out of that hole back to being healed again as well. I feel like this person really needs to heal. And I feel like they were your trigger to heal. But you are going to be their trigger to heal in the long run as well. So we have let go, release, forgive, move on, and then karma can play out, but not while you're still there. Don't look back now. You've come too far. Your energy is so pure and amazing. So rock forever. Don't let them change your heart. Carry yourself with your head held high. Know your worth and don't mind the opinions of others. So don't care what anybody's thinking about you. Don't care what anybody has going on. Just allow yourself to go forward knowing how amazing you are and to continue being your true self and be this beautiful bright light in the world for others so that's what I have for this pile and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading I would absolutely love to hear what you thought about it how you felt about it in the comments below and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys Pile three. I want to say if you're interested in pile two, go watch pile two as well if you feel drawn to that. So we're going to put these aside and 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 we're going to do this one first. Let's see what we got here. Empty head. What's inside my head today? Looking for a brand new way. The clatter of thoughts that used to rain down gone is that crooked crown no more overthinking my mind is clear gone are the days of fear time for a bright new start i am my greatest work of art so know that you are your greatest work of art and that it's time for a new day that it's time to straighten your crown and it's time to stand tall it's time to end this cycle of overthinking things and feeling like everything's going to come crashing down and it's time to move forward so what do we have here? We have the bee and we have the fire ant. I feel like somebody was working really hard in the community to tear you down through gossip and slander. 
I feel like there could have been somebody spreading a lot of vicious rumors and lies. There could have been a lot of competition going on here. There could have been a lot of fights, a lot of chaos. And I feel like you have worked really, really, really hard to overcome these things, to overcome the thoughts going on in your mind to overcome everything that you're facing and all the challenges in your life and you have been networking and connecting to people and people are starting to see the truth of who you really are so let's see we got the three of wands we got the seven of swords yeah there was a lot of lies gossip rumors I feel like somebody may have even wrote some lies or gossip or rumors about you on their social media things like that um, maybe even in letters we have spell casting and we have the ten of earth so, you're waiting for something to come in. You're waiting for support in some way. You're waiting for connection. You're waiting for stability. I feel like somebody has tried to take your stability from you. They have tried to ruin your reputation. They've tried to ruin your business possibly as well. They have really tried to put a wrench in everything that you've been doing. There's a lot of lies, a lot of gossip, a lot of maliciousness here. And I feel like you are not allowing it to affect you. You aren't even looking at it. You don't even care about what's going on there because what you care about is what's going on in your world and the world around you. And I feel like you are working really hard to overcome the challenges coming your way. Let's see what kind of abuse there is in this pile. Haha, -ha, that's, that's exactly right. Narcissistic abuse, ego and insecurity projected as an inflated sense of self. And there is a certain amount of narcissism in every person but for narcissists it's a little extra strong this is somebody who was very egoistic or egotistical somebody who's also very insecure and they projected their inflated sense of self onto you um they really oh I feel like there's a lot of jealousy here a lot of jealousy manipulation too if you feel drawn to pile two watch pile two Pretending to care triggers paranoia, trust issues, and doubts of those close to you. Ghosting triggers self-esteem and self-worth issues and abandonment issues. So this person pretended to care about you. They ghosted you. They hurt you. They treated you like you were undeserving of love and care and kindness and they showed you limited amounts of love, care, and kindness to keep you coming back for more. They breadcrumbed you. Ugh breadcrumbing Ugh. so let's see what their karma is or what why they did this they will be bound up and never in oh wait hold on why they did this life as they home apparently we ended up with an extra karma one here they will be bound up in never-ending cycles let's see they didn't want you to have your independence they knew this was wrong and they made their decision I'm so broken, all I do is break others. So this person is broken, they're hurt, and they hurt others because of their hurt. That does not excuse it, but it does help you to understand what they're going through. They don't love themselves, they don't feel like they are worthy of love, and so they put that out on other people too. And also at the same time, they have this feeling of like they're perfect and other people can't measure up. It's an odd combination, but that's what it is. They knew this was wrong and they made their decision. They made their decision to do it anyway, even though it was wrong. They didn't want you to have your independence. They didn't want you to have your freedom. They wanted you to come crying after them and they wanted you to get stuck on them. They wanted you to chase them is what this sounds like. So they will be bound up in never ending cycles. Life as they know it will be dramatically altered. Everything they touch will fall apart. Constant towers will plague them in their life. Everything they have done will be returned to sender. So everything you have went through, everything you have faced, all the challenges and hardship that you have gone through because of this person, all of that's going to be happening to them too. And you don't even have to do anything about it. You just got to chill and go after what you're going after. Wait for what you're waiting for to come in. And everything's going to be just fine. There's going to be a lot of stability coming into your life as the stability leaves theirs. Um... They're really going to have a lot of things falling up around or falling apart around them, and they're going to be bound and chained to this rep repetitive cycle of constantly chasing anyone who actually cares about them away because they are busy trying not to show that they care. And that's about what it amounts to. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful... Oh, 
I forgot, if you're still here, these are for you. Messages from Spirit. Love yourself first. Take time out for rest and play. Don't associate with those who wish you harm. Step up your game and refuse to give this person any more of your time or energy. So it's time to step your game up. It's time to walk away from people who treat you this way. It's time to stop associating with the people who want to hurt you in that way. It's time to know that you deserve love and to give it to yourself. Because once you start giving it to yourself, other people will know what to give to you. And if they aren't giving it to you, you will be walking away because that's part of loving yourself too. So that's what I have for this pile and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys